Hi there, Emmanuel, and uh, welcome again to our thought for the day. Uh, I was just thinking again of a psalm that I've been reading over the last week or so, just thinking through and wanted to share a bit of that with you. It's Psalm 44, and uh, it just reminded me a bit of reputation and, 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 and of what we hear about people. Uh, so I was thinking in terms of the office here at the church with uh, Pastor Dave and Pastor Don working in BC for a lot of their ministry. They know a lot of the same guys. And so sometimes as we're in the office, they'll be telling stories about one guy or the influence of that guy over him, or you must have worked with this guy. And they'll be talking about just the different influences and the different effects that people have had in their lives. And there's been a number of times where it's been the same people that have influenced their lives, but at different times. Um, maybe a certain time for Pastor Dave, a certain time for Pastor Don. And uh, I, I was, that came to mind because the Psalm, Psalm 44 talks a little bit about the reputation of God. And so I wanted to share a bit about that with you. So it says, Oh God, we have heard with our ears. Our fathers have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the people, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, for you delighted in them. And so I was just reading that and just even thinking again, even of one of the reasons why we do Sundays with the saints. And by the way, there's one coming up in the next month or so. We'll get the details out to you fairly quickly. But it's just that those stories where the psalmist would say, we've heard with our ears. I've heard with my ears what you did, what God did to the generations before. And so the generations before had passed on just the works that God had done, how God had blessed them and God had given them a land to be their own. And so that's one of the reasons we do Sundays with the Saints is so that we can share some of the missionary stories, even with the kids or even with people who don't know them, just so they know of just some of the great things that God has done. Because we know God's, the important sort of future tense of that is that God is not done doing those kind of works, but rather he keeps on and he's still, his arm is still mighty and still powerful. And so whenever I thought of this psalm and thought of just that, that first little line, Oh God, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. I just thought of just the stories that we're telling our kids or our grandkids about what, who God is and what he's done for us. But then even just how do we pray? To pray that God would again just do those mighty works. And just even that contrast, you see the contrast of God's blessing. It says, you with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted, the Israelites you planted. You afflicted the people, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, for you delighted in them. And you just see that, that blessing and that intimacy again, you delighted in them and just the favor of God. And so we want people to know about that, that our God is a God who wants to pour his blessing into people's lives. And we want to be praying to that end. And even I would encourage you, uh, in fact, today as we pray, I want to pray just for the upcoming youth that's going to be started. Because that's really what we want. We want a, a work of God to happen. So there'll be a generation of people who'll grow up and they will know that God is a powerful God who with his right arm, he has set free and he has bestowed his favor upon a people. And so. Uh, Emmanuel, I just encourage you just to take a few minutes today and just even to pray. Pray for the youth work and pray just for God's blessing and God's impact here in Mission Hill. Uh, I know um, the camera angle is not necessarily set up towards Mission Hill, but Mission Hill is just right over here. And so we just want to be praying. God, would you bless in this area and would you raise up a people who will know you and will accept Christ as Savior. So let me pray. Heavenly Father, I do want to thank you again just for the opportunity to pause and just to pray, Lord, even as a congregation, as a church, to pray for Emmanuel and to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, for Emmanuel's impact and the gospel's impact in Mission Hill. And Lord, we just want to pray for these people. And Lord, we've heard with our ears just what you've done in generations. Even historically, we think of how Emmanuel came to be, Lord, and, and you, you brought this church into being. And Lord, we just are thankful for that. But Lord, we just want to pray again that we wouldn't just hear with our ears, but Lord, that we would see with our eyes again, Lord, just your mighty hand at work. And so we do pray. Would this be a year, Lord, when you would save people at youth? Would this be a year, Lord, whenever people would accept Christ as Savior? Would this be a year, Lord, whenever the homes are impacted because of the gospel? And so, Lord, we commit the youth ministries to you this, this, today. 
Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for tuning in, Emmanuel. God bless.